it's gonna work out. Well, I've got a good hypothetical. Okay. If you had a chance at a new slate, but you had to give up all your old memories, would you take it? Ooh. That's a good Ooh. Yeah, yeah, the same that's person without your memories. Exactly. But it would be a new slate. Would it be worth well, it though? Let's actually, say we, the memories were holding you back from going on to something new. Wait, wait. Would you give them up? Mm. Or would you keep them? Hmm. How about you, Bren? What all my other memories were. How to be honest, that is a question that I've been battling with myself, okay. and I have no idea. You have not. You haven't chosen yet. No. That's interesting. Memories, technically, we kind of are. Like memories do change people. You're referring, like, I think, to the idea of tabula rasa, where like you're like a, like a slate. Blank and slate. When things are get drawn on it, or like carved into it, it stays there. Those are like your memories. Well, and so the things, like the things, the things are different because there's a bet mark's been put there. So the thing's not the same anymore. Right? So they can also hold you back and make you not want to move forward. That's true. So but sometimes you can be better off without them, as opposed to keeping them, even though they may have changed you. Unless you can grow from it. What's your solution? I have a solution. You write down all of your worthwhile memories, get the new slate, keep the journal, and then you read all of them and you remember. Antonio. Well, on the memory thing. It, you're talking about that book reminded me of a game, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Oh, yeah. 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 As he goes farther in like the castle, he starts forgetting every all of his memories. Because he, he's trying to save this one person, and then he starts to forget who he's trying to save, and then it gets all mixed up and everything. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, that kind of ties and back he, to what uh, Alex was saying about like saving some of them, spinning. like, losing it'd be track. Futile for um, whatever reason, yeah, saying like you really forgot the person. The, the like, person forgot you, that's actually the case yeah. at some point. If the person forgets you and you go to if save them and they're like, there, who are you? Are. That is totally freaky. Wait, What's the moral dilemma there? there? What's the moral dilemma? When you go on a quest and you reach the, yes. we, you reach the object of your quest and the person doesn't want to go back with you. <laughs> Yeah, I never actually knock them out and take them back, or just leave. Yeah, it feels like it's, it's been a personal experience. Feels like a bad dream if I live through. What do you think, Michaela? Do memory are memories a trap that hold you from may, taking the next step? I think they can. Although my long term, like, don't oh, sorry. The whole thing about like you know you have a bad experience, like you get in a plane crash and then you can never go on a plane again. I think that's just basically what it is. I don't yeah. Know. I can't think of a personal one. A lot yeah. of times, something bad will happen, and you'll dwell on it, and it just ends you. It really, it, it has such an effect that it's absolutely ridiculous. Right. But what you need to do is you need to choose to be happy. You need to block it out and make it go away. So you have to do some blocking? That's kind of what Ben was talking about. I mean, happiness and confidence, it's just a constant I, choice so many it's times. It's always very difficult to lose someone, but I feel like, especially when you feel like you're like on a journey with someone to like become better people. Yeah. Um... It's very difficult to end up on that alone. Ooh. And I feel like, to an extent, my memories of her when I was a kid are holding me back from accepting like what's happened now because she was always such a happy person that I don't want to think of her as depressed. I don't want to think of her like that. But All it's right. what she was. Even if so she can you choose it. the memories that you hold on to and let go of others? That's kind of that's kind of part of what Ben was saying. I think. Let's I think, have Ben respond. Um. I don't want to shave from personal experience, but I don't think you can do that. I mean, you can try as much as you want to, but the other memories are bound to surface. Like, if you try to pick one from the other, then the other ones are just going to like keep coming, whether mm -hmm. you want them to or not. Yeah. You bring back the good ones, the That's bad ones are going to follow. Colby. Let's have Colby speak. He hasn't spoken yet. Um, well, I mean, I agree with Ben. You, you'd never be able to forget, okay? But, um... You can always change your view on it. Okay. So that, like, whenever you do think of it, you never, you don't really feel the sad, you don't really feel the sadness anymore. You don't feel the pain that you did before. How do you get to that point? Nah, time. Time. Lots, basically.